We begin with the Pfizer vaccine getting full FDA approval. Good evening, everybody. I'm Chris Ketz. And I'm Haley Harrison. Lara is off tonight. The approval applies to people 16 and older. Experts say that this could lead to more vaccine requirements. KMBC 9's Jackson Kurtz is in Johnson County, Kansas, where doctors and community members hope this leads to higher vaccination rates. Optimism in Johnson County. I just hope it, it moves things along. That vaccination numbers go up after the FDA's approval of Pfizer's COVID vaccine. Hopefully, at least some of the people who've resisted will feel enough confidence to get the uh, injections. The county health department says the final approval will hopefully do that and encourage people on the fence to get their shot. It's, it's best that we look at this from a you know, kind of a larger community perspective and encourage people across the region and across the state to get vaccinated. Meanwhile, critics of the vaccines feel it's been rushed to counter the virus. One man telling us off camera that he feels there's other ways to protect ourselves against COVID. But after months of testing and vaccine trials, others disagree. It felt good. It felt empowering. Uh, I had a bit of a red mark, but it's worth it. I think there's security in, in knowing that the yeah. vaccines have been tested. They work. They're not uh, harmful and there's just no reason uh, at all not to get them. Many people feel getting the shot is one of the few ways to keep ourselves healthy and not become sick. Really, that's the only way we're going to get rid of this uh, pandemic or else it's it's going to stay forever. In Johnson County, Jackson Kurtz, KNBC 9 News. On the other side of the state line, the head of the Kansas City Health Department says that the Pfizer vaccine approval could lead to other developments. Frank Thompson thinks that some people will get the vaccine now that it has full approval. He also thinks that it may lead to more proof of vaccination requirements. There will be more businesses. Um, there will be some schools that will mandate um, and that will that will also help to increase the, uh, the demand for vaccine. In both the city and Jackson County, less than 50% of people are fully vaccinated. Johnson County has the highest vaccination rate in the metro at 58%. President calls it a key milestone. That was his reaction to the FDA's full approval of the Pfizer vaccine. He's hoping this will convince people who have been on the fence about getting the shot. Those who have been waiting for full approval should go get your shot now. The vaccination is free, it's easy, it's safe, and it's effective, and it's convenient. Right now, more than half of eligible Americans are fully vaccinated. New tonight, masks will be required inside for all students in the Gardner Edgerton School District. The board voted on that tonight. The district says since August 9th, more than 200 students had to go into quarantine, and that is among all grade levels. More than 40 students have tested positive for the virus. Now, the board originally voted to require masks only for elementary students. Parents remain divided on the issue of requiring masks for all. I thought parents and educators had a responsibility alike to create a partnership and an environment conducive for their education. Not only will my child, as well as many others, have to be pulled from school for their safety, the school that they love, making mask optional, is a setup for bullying and peer pressure. The new mask requirement is going to go into effect one week from today on August 31st.